like I told y'all, I was gonna be picking back up on the World Boxer Super Series. And uh, as you see here, we got Ivan Baranchek versus Anthony. Can you dig it? Yeah. First of all, let me backtrack. Ivan the Beast Baranchek. Let me put some respect on his on his middle name, on his uh his fight name, so to say. But um, just wanted to throw that in there. But anyway, man, I'm picking back up on this World Box Super Series. I know it's been a couple of weeks since I dropped anything on it, but I told y'all I was going to follow up with the whole thing, and that's what I am going to do. So y'all just uh, stay locked in and loaded, man. And just listen to the content that's going to be delivered and provided to you. So first of all, man, it's your boy JB Trap House Boxing, man. We should wait no subscribe to the channel. Like, share the video always. Shout out to the whole LDBC, man. And go subscribe to Urban Media Fix and hit that notification icon there. You understand me? All right. So, like I was saying, though, man, we got uh, Ivan the Beast Baranche versus Anthony. Can you dig it? Yig it. And this is a uh, pretty intriguing matchup, man. But, you know, I got my... Uh, I got my little... Uh, say so about this fight and of course that's why I'm here you know to talk about the you know the matchup and have my say so you understand but anyway you got Baranchek at 18 in, in uh 18 and over 11 knockouts so Baranchek is a, is a uh, power puncher man Baranchek is a is a high highly Exciting fighter, very very uh fan friend uh fan friendly and uh you know one thing about Baranchek man he's not gonna be in no boring fight at all point blank period you know he's coming to knock you out and he's very very ruthless on top of that you know he's he's from Russia but he's fighting out of Miami and Oklahoma. You know what I'm saying? So, salute to him. You know, he out there in my, uh, on my stump of ground. But, uh, on the flip side, though, man, we got Anthony King Diggy Yiggy, like I said. And he's from Sweden. And I watched, uh, Anthony Yiggy fight a few times, you know, before, uh, before this whole World Boxing Super Series thing. So I'm already familiar with him. Southpaw, outbox. Well, he's a boxer. I'm not going to just, he's just a boxer. He's the, uh, his whole style is, 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 is being a boxer. But I have seen Anthony Yigi, you know, stand in front of guys and get pretty aggressive. You know, that's only when guys, uh, that's not punching as hard as him though. But um, you got Baranchek though, man. Baranchek, like I say, man. Baranchek, he he's a, a straight up monster, man. He like a, a like a poor man's triple G, you know. Um, <laughs> Baranchek loads up on every shot. I mean, everything he throws is hard. You know, uh, even when you try to clinch him, you know he he. He throws shots to the back of the head. He's just a ruthless guy. You know, uh, I like Baranchek, though. Baranchek, very, very strong. You know, um, he 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 overcommits, especially with those left hooks. He, I mean, he, he'll leap halfway across the ring to try to land a leaping left hook. And I mean, you can tell the way he just loads up and he just winds up on it so much to where, you know, he'll load up every now and then and he'll damn to do a whole 360 trying to uh, throw a left hook, like, you know, just losing his whole complete balance. And that's the thing about him, man, he gets off balance a lot, you know, but uh, like I said, man, pressure fighter. He's coming forward. He's is he hittable? Absolutely, yeah. 
He's definitely hit of Um de- defensive wise, I have to give it to Anthony Egan. Anthony Egan is a is a better defensive responsible guy. Uh but the thing about Yigan, Yigan don't have he's lacking that power though, man. You know, Yigan is lacking the power. And a quick story though, man. Yigan see I had to watch I can't remember who the opponent was and uh Josh Taylor was ringside, he was commentating. This was Maybe almost a year ago. So you get and the other guy were fighting. And, um, you know, Josh Taylor was looking for the winner uh, out of Yigit and uh, the p- opponent. I can't remember his name. But, uh, you know, Yigit was basically saying that he really didn't want to smoke with Josh Taylor. You know, he, he basically admitted it. And he said that he was thinking about going down to 135. Well, he was going to 135 because he doesn't feel like his pe- his his power carries over to uh, 140, you know, and this, that, and the third. But so fast forward the time, he he's uh still at 140, and he's in the tournament. So that's the uh. That's the whole uh, ironic thing about it is that, you know, he's supposed to be going to 135, but he ended up staying at 140 and he uh, entered into the tournament, which is strange. So I don't know what that was about. Maybe it was just a complete duck move or whatever, but the cold part is this, though. If he gets past Baran Check and then Josh Taylor gets past um, Ryan Martin, they meeting up anyway. So, hmm. I don't know, but, but I'm going to tell you right now, though, Anthony Yeager got his whole, he got his hands full with Ivan Baranchek. Uh, who do I got winning that fight? I'm, I'm going to tell you something, man. Baranchek, I haven't seen this dude get tired yet. And uh, we can't say that he's on, he, he's into, uh, he's enrolled into the bottom already. Drug, uh, clean, uh, uh, the drug, uh, program. So, you know, he just got some hella fire stamina, man. Some hella fire stamina. The, but the thing about Yigi, Yigi's gonna have to let his hands go most times. He can't, he, he can't afford to throw like three punch combinations and expect to win this fight. He's gonna have to throw four and five punch combinations because the thing about Baranchek. Is that if you if you if you let your hands go, you can freeze them, and and Yigit has the the ability to change angles and uses lateral movement and things such of that nature. You know, I'm really really wondering uh, what what is he uh, what is he working on in his camp? You know, but the thing is though, Yigit, I don't think Yigit's stamina is is uh, on the. Uh, Ivan Baranchek's level. You understand what I'm saying? Ivan Baranchek got some, like I said, got some hella fire stamina. And it's going to be tough, man. This is going to be a tough-ass fight for Yigi. And like I said, Yigi cannot afford to stand right in front of uh, Baranchek. I mean, at all. He can't afford to stand in front of him at all. You know, uh, I wouldn't even... I'm going to go as far as say he can't even afford to, to trade with him too much. Because I just believe that I ran check punches a little bit too hard for Yigi to be standing in the pocket, exchanging with him. And, and the thing about Yigi, Yigi will get to a fight with you. He will exchange. And he can be, you know, somewhat dangerous, you know, with his slick, awkward boxing ability, but the thing about Yigit is when you uh put a lot of pressure on him, he, he, he will let his hands go. You know, he most definitely will let his hands go. And I don't know, man. I don't know. I think that Baranchek is uh he gonna be tough to beat in this tournament, man. You know, it's gonna take a highly skilled guy to beat Baranchek. 
to me, in my opinion, he can. But the thing about it, he can be our box. Don't get me wrong, he can be our box. But I, I just think that Anthony Yeager just lacks the power a little bit to, to just to keep this guy up off of him. You know, just just my opinion. You know, but like I said, we definitely gonna see, and I can't wait for the fight. I mean, but I, I you get, you get, if you're going to definitely have to be in tip-top shape, you can't afford to be fatiguing in, in round six and seven and taking breaks because uh, Baranchek ain't going to give you a break. You know, he's very effective on the mid-range. Uh, to me, he has power on, on all the ranges, to be honest with you. You know, he just... Uh, when he creates enough space and leverage in the range that he's in, he's he's very dangerous and effective. And he, he throws looping wild shots and he's he's going for the home run nine times out of ten. All his he don't have a he don't have a a, a, a different cadence on his punches. All his punches got the same cadence and the same volume and and rhythm and, and power behind it. So you know what you expect when you get in there with this guy. Full-blown killer. He's ready to seek and destroy. But I don't know who. I think I might have to roll Baran check. I don't know, man. It's going to be a good fight. But don't sleep on Yigit. But I'm going to have to roll with Baran check in this one. Y'all let me know what y'all think. This your boy JB Trap House Boxing. What you waiting on? Subscribe to the channel. Like, share the video always. And tune into the other World Boxing Super Series videos that I'm dropping. Me and Blood Boxing. Holla. Peace.